Hello, I'm Mike Myers, Kilo 3 Delta Oscar, and in my last video, I walked through how to build one of these devices called a Morserino. It's a CW or Morse code trainer. It has many neat features about it. And uh, I wanna walk through this time on what some of those features are and a little bit how to use it or how to get around it's like that. There's a very detailed manual online, but sometimes somebody showing you this a little bit better than, than reading it. So this is uh, one that I put together. I have three of these and we're gonna use these in demonstration. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're gonna talk about the Morserino. In our last video, we actually built one of these, and I've actually built three of these now. And I do wanna call out one thing as I was editing the video uh, that I saw, was this by default comes with a 433 uh, LoRa chip in it. Uh, it does not what the US uses, US uses 915. So you, after you get this, you need to go out to Amazon. You can buy these um, chips now. I just looked uh, before I recorded this, um, this is a version two chip. There's a version three out. I don't know if it works. I ordered one just to check, but I haven't gotten it yet. But these are version two chips. So, um, they only come with the European uh, LoRa. So if you use LoRa, if you want to use LoRa, you need to get, upgrade these. If you're not going to use LoRa, you're probably going to be fine because LoRa is only used uh, in a very specific instance. So, um, but first of all, before we get started, I have two of them here for a reason. I'm going to show you how they work, like over Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So they, how they work together. And uh, so let's look at one of them first. So this is the Morserino assembled. And what you see here is you have two paddles in the front here. And actually one of my paddles is coming out. So these come out and in real easy. So if you want, they actually send, he sends you a couple extra ones. Um, they're capacitive. So you don't have to push on them for them to work. Let me wake this thing up. Oh, just turn it off and back on. It went to sleep on me. All right, the battery's kind of low. I need to plug it in too. All right, let's go back to our transceiver. I'm just gonna make it a keyer mode. So in this mode, so um, you see beach paddle, you see I'm barely touching them. I'm just, I'm not even pushing on them. So, um, but that's what these capacitive paddles are like. So um, you have your selector, you saw me just use this right here. This is how you get around. So if I wanted to get out of this, I would just hold it down and I'm back to the main menu. Uh, and you can scroll between the different options that there are. So we'll go through these options here in a little bit, but uh, you can see that's how you get around. If you want to go into something, for example, let me find one that has, um, here's one. So after you do this, your next menu is the next one down and you can sit here and you can change what your transceiver mode is. So and if you want to go back again, you hold it down and you're back to your top menu. So this red button serves multiple purposes. So uh, let's go back into the keyer real quick. And when you're into the keyer, if you hit it once, you're now adjusting the volume. You see the top is adjusting, you can kind of hear it being adjusted. And if you hit it again, this is your words per minute. So let's go up to say 25 words per minute. So look, at, you see how fast it is. Um, I'm nowhere near. <laughs> if I'm lucky, I could do 10 words per minute. So I'm gonna go back to 10, you can see. So yeah, you can see the difference there. All right. And then you hit it again and you're out of you're out of that. So it serves multiple purposes depending on what menu you're in. You see I had a little trouble there um, with that. But so anyways, that's what this red button does. Of course you have your, your chip right here uh, that's running everything. This is um, your LoRa. And then in the back, you have your power switch uh, right here. And then uh, you can put headphones in right here. And then this is your keyer. If you want to do an external keyer right here, and you can actually connect it to a radio. So you can use it uh, on a radio to actually be a, a keyer. If you wanted to use this as a paddle, or uh, you could do that as well. Of course, you got your speaker, and then you got your audio level adjustments right there, manual ones. All right, and you can see on the side here, we have power. I'm actually gonna plug it in because I said the battery was kind of low. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. And there is a battery in here. Of course, you got your antenna. Um, so that's pretty much, you know, the physical layout of the device. As I said, um, the mode, which just says modus, um, which 
modes. <laughs> you also can do a CW generator, uh, an echo trainer, uh, a cock trainer. If you ever heard of, uh, it's a German guy, I think. And uh, he created a method where you'd learn like basically one letter a day and there, and it keeps adding one to the, and he does it by sound, not by memor memorizing the dits and da's and stuff like that. So it's a different way of training. Um, I might try that because the way I've been doing it doesn't work really well <laughs> for me, at least for me. Uh, and then you have the transceiver and then you have the CW decoder, which you can plug in and to your radio and you can listen to um, the radio and it'll, it will decode Morse code for you. And then you have your Wi-Fi set up, which I am on Wi-Fi at this point. I'll give you a quick uh, rundown of that. So you can display your MAC address. You can configure your Wi-Fi, which mine's already configured. Uh, you can check it to make sure it's connected. You can upload a file, which um, what this means is you can add files to this. Like if you wanted to add, uh, it can read files and, and generate like, it's like a memory, like a CW memory where it'll play it back to you. Um, so you can learn it that way. Um, if you have firmware, this is, actually, this is actually easier than the way I was doing it. I've been uploading it through the uh, Arduino interface and uh, this actually is really quick. You basically put into this mode, uh, it gives you the IP address, you go to the web interface on it and you upload a file. It's, it's really simple, so. And then back to the Wi-Fi setup again, so. All right, and let's see. We did CW Keyer, which is actually exactly what it is. It's a Keyer. Um, and then we have a CW Generator. And what this does is it will, I'm gonna say random, but you can say how you wanna do it. Like you wanna do abbreviations, you wanna do English words, call signs, or you wanna mix it. Uh, or you wanna play the file. This is the file I was talking about where I can play for you. Or just random, I'm just gonna do random. And I'm gonna hit the paddle start so there you can see basically it's a trainer it's a way you can um, generate output and you can learn you can look at the screen see what it is and try to learn learn that way as well so that's what the generator does all right the next one on here is the echo trainer and what this one is, we're gonna do random again, is it wants you to learn. So it's gonna hit, it's going to start, wanna hit the. It wants me to echo that back now. So I'm not gonna do it because I'm horrible at it. I'd be, it'd be a bad demonstration to watch me do this. All right, and then uh, next, okay, it's got the echo trainer. Hold down, got the echo trainer. This is the cock trainer, I don't know exactly. Um, how to actually use this. I know you can pick, select the lesson. So you select the lesson by learn new character or um, yeah, learn new character. And then, I guess it wants me to do that. <laughs> Error, okay, so you can see, I'm not even doing good with that. So, but it's a, it's a way of learning, another way of learning. So if you're used to that method of learning. And then let's go into transceiver mode. So let's see, we're going to use, Wi-Fi, and then we bring the other one into the view here, so you can kind of see. Let me uh, turn this one on. This one's low on battery too. All right, so we're gonna do, oh, it's already there. I must have been tested it. So we're gonna do Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. So I'm set up for 10 words per minute on this side. So let's just do the typical like SOS thing. So you can see both sides have it. So that's how it happens. There's a delay. So um, let's see. So you can see how long it takes to get over there. Yeah, so you can see there's a little bit of delay back and forth. And this works similarly when it comes, you use LoRa too. So um, you can use LoRa and get back out of this mood. Um, you can also do direct connections if you wanted to. Um, via the internet. I haven't had that, tried that yet, but, um, and then there's also, I, this is the new feature that I haven't tried yet. I think it's um, via your computer, if I can remember correctly. But uh, anyways, there's that. And I think that's what we're gonna, oh, well, we have the decoder, which I don't have hooked up to radio, so you wouldn't see that anyways. And then we're in the back of the Wi-Fi, where we had Wi-Fi. So that's the more Sereno and kind of how to get around and use it. Not a detailed drive into it. You wouldn't want me doing that anyways because I'm horrible at CW, but um, it gives you a general idea of 
how to get around the Morse Arena and, and use some of its functions. Uh, like I said, the manual online is, is very detailed uh, how, as to how to use it and stuff. So I would recommend you go out and go out. But if you're just looking at like, what does it do? This may be a good video so you can understand if you want to try to use it for a, a Morse code trainer. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up down below if you liked the video and be sure to uh, spread the word and, and hit the subscribe, subscribe button. Smashing that button really helps, helps a lot with the channel. Definitely would appreciate that.